The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? For that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise and Pick up your stretcher and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary. Different people look at the same things differently. Diba? Iba ibang tao, iba ang pagtingin sa parehong tinitignan, pareho man ang hinaharap, iba iba ang pagtingin. Meron iba will look at something from top to bottom, or iba naman from left to right, iba naman from inside to outside, or vice versa. Iba naman will look at things and be happy. Others will look at things and be miserable. Some will see blessings, while others will always look for what is missing. Iba-iba. Iba-iba ang pagtingin ng mga tao sa mga bagay-bagay. But this, how people look at things, is affected, not uh, determined, just affected. It's affected by our personality and our past. Anong klaseng tao tayo, paano tayo lumaki, at ano yung mga pinagdaanan natin, kung tayo ba'y nabigo, nahihirapan, nasaktan, o tayo ba'y nak, uh, nakatanggap ng maraming blessings sa buhay, basta yung buhay natin, pagkabata natin. That is how we look at things. Those things affect how we perceive things. No? Kung paano natin titignan yung mga bagay-bagay. But ultimately, sabi ko nga, it's a... It affects how we look at things, but it does not determine how we look at things. Bakit? Because in the end, ultimately, it all, it, it all depends on our choice. Ultimately, it's our choice. Choice natin kung maging masaya o maging malungkot. Choice natin kung pababayaan natin sarado yung ating pag-iisip, sarado yung ating puso, o bubuksan natin. Para pumasok ang liwanag, para maging mas masaya. It's our choice. Choice natin yan lahat. Dito sa gospel na binasa natin, yung scribes chose, yung scribes who were learned and respected for, for um, in their position in the church, their minds were closed for whatever reason. Siguro yung kanilang, yung kanilang position, sometimes high positions can close our minds. Sometimes high positions or high learning can close our minds. So itong mga scribes, mayroong high learning, mayroong mga mata sa pinag-aralan. Nakita si Jesus, nagpagaling ng paralytic. What did they see? They did not just see the healing. They saw and focused on the blasphemy. O sa tingin nila ay blasphemy. Their minds and their hearts were closed hindi nila nakita yung kabutihan. People who see the dark side, mga taong laging madilim ang pagtingin sa mundo, madalas malungkot, di ba? They're, they're sad, they're afraid, they're suspicious, they're judgmental. Palagi na lang may mali o naghahanap ng mali. People who are in the dark side whose minds and hearts are closed and therefore are, are see the dark side all the time, are usually sad. 
Yeah, yeah unfortunately, sabi ko nga, minsan yung high learning or high level of uh, education or minsan yung high position can, not naman always, but can narrow our vision and cloud our judgment. On the other hand, sa gospel, meron naman mga simpleng mga tao na hindi masyado siguro nag-aaral, pero ordinary tao. Pero nung nakita yung ginawa ni Jesus, ang nakita nila, yung paralytic na kalakad. They saw the miracle. They saw the good news. They saw what was beautiful and what was wonderful. Kaya nga sabi sa gospel, they were struck with awe. Namangha. Namangha. They were struck with awe and they glorified God. Hindi lang sila nagulat, they glorified God for what they've seen. Pinasalamatan, pinuri ang Diyos. Their minds, their hearts were open to the light of God's work, to the light of Jesus' miracle. Hindi din siguro surprising that many times, makikita natin yan sa ating history, sa ating mga, mga santo. No? Marami sa ating mga santo, simpleng tao lang. Marami din sa ating mga santo, hindi naman masyado maraming pinag-aralan. But their minds and their hearts are open for God's grace, for God's intervention, for God to affect them and, and move them in the way that God wants. People who see the bright side are usually happier, freer, and more at peace. So what does the gospel tell us? Of course, obviously, the gospel tells us to choose, to choose life every time. To choose what is good and what is beautiful every time. Kung meron mo masamang nangyayari sa atin, hanapan natin ang maganda. Kung meron mo malungkot, hanapan natin kung saan pa tayo sasaya, paano tayo sasaya. Choose whatever promotes life and happiness. Give hope and freedom. Find reasons to be happy and joyful and at peace. Strive for justice, for equality, for harmony. Develop tolerance, acceptance, patience, understanding. In short, look at life, look at things that happen in our, in our lives as God would. Look at it with positive, in a positive light. Open our minds, open our hearts, so that the light of God, the light of life, hope, and joy may enter and our lives will be ruled by these beautiful things.